Hey, hey everybody, uh, Trevor Mock here with PrivateMoneyBlueprint.com, PrivateMoneyBlueprint.com uh, with a quick uh, video lesson here for you. Give me one second while I shut my iTunes off in the background. I've got some uh, John Denver playing in the background. Let me let me play it for you a little bit. Alright, enough of that. Enough of that stuff. Okay, um, what today's video lesson is on, we got an email from a reader, and uh, the email is from Marshall, and uh, Marshall's email says, uh, hey Trevor and Patrick, um, let's see, hey Trevor and Patrick, uh, I haven't got my business cards yet for private money or for my buying business. Uh, number one, what should I put on my business cards? Number two, where can I get them? So uh, Marshall, here's your questions. Your question is going to be answered right now. I'm going to show you three examples of some pretty good business cards. Uh, where to get the business cards, where I get them actually, and uh, what to put on the business cards because a lot of people get this wrong and frankly a lot of people don't use the business card like it should be used. So number one, the first tip on a business card uh, of course is to use the entire real estate. So you can see both sides of the card, both sides of the card, <laughs> and basically uh, it's just like with real estate. If if you have a duplex and you only have one unit rented out, that means you have you have one unit that's vacant and not being used, right? So you're only getting half of your income potential from that property. Same thing with the real estate on these cards, because uh, when when you give a card to somebody, somebody is going to look at the front and inevitably they're going to look at the back as well. And if you don't have anything on the back to to sell them on something, to offer them something, then uh, that you're losing the potential to do that. So tip. Write this one down. On the front, my preference, and of course this is my preference, is to have your brand on the front. This is where you build your brand, where you build your professionalism. This business card is one of my business cards for my marketing company. I didn't have any of my real estate ones here with me. Uh, they're in the office. But um, I had this one handy with me, so I grabbed it. But this is where you build your brand. You've got your logo on there. You tell a little bit about what you do. Have a little slogan. Uh, have your name on there. And you can have your contact information, your address, phone. Um, you know, email, whatever. And that's where people can look at the front and they can tell what you do, um, basically, and they can tell you're a professional business. On the back is where you have a call to action. So the back is where you, you specifically call them to action to one specific thing. And you need to make a determination of what this business card is that you're printing off, what the action is you want the people to take when they get it. So for instance, I always like to have a different business card for every type of business action. So if, if I'm getting private money, I'll have, I'll have a business card that is geared on the front toward building credibility with private lenders. And then on the back, it drives people to my private lender website to get a free report on how they can earn um, better returns, better consistent returns backed by real estate. And then it drives them to a free report. Um, or if it's, if it's the one to... Um, uh, to motivated sellers to get to get sellers to contact you. I'm going to show you this cool one. This one's awesome right here in a sec for doing that. But um, if you want to do that, then your your call to action can be free report. Um, you know, five ways to save your home from foreclosure today. Uh, head to the URL below and then give the URL. Head to the URL below to download your free report now, and then drive those people to get the free report so you can get them in your lead funnel so you can convert them. So tip number one, most important. Use both sides of the card. Um, here's another card. This one, it doesn't have a whole lot of information on the front, but it does have some nice fancy graphics. Uh, got the, the $100 bills, got the house, you know, all that kind of stuff. The guy's name. Um, and then on the back of it, he has his, his information and a call to action. I just had this one handy with me, so it's an example that I'm using. Uh, there's a lot of ways that I would improve this one. Um, but he's using both sides of the card. Big, big kudos there. Okay, now to this one right here. This card right here, if you really want to stand out, and I, I won't usually just leave my regular business cards around. Uh, what I'll use for the business cards, give me one second. Got my cell phone blowing up here. It's probably my wife calling. One sec. Okay, it is. I'll call her right back. Um, with, with the regular business cards, I won't leave these around, you know, just laying around uh, because I like to use these when I'm actually interacting with somebody. But if you have something like this, the $100 business business card, $100 bill, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it in there, but it looks like $100 bills and it's a folded up $100 bills, okay? 
So if it's laying on the table, if, if this is laying on the table like this, right, in, people are going to grab it. People are not going to leave it alone and not grab it. So this right here, and I'm going to get the, the link to the $100 bill um, business cards where you can buy them is below. I don't make any money from it. That's just my supplier for them. Um, and then also the link to where I get all of my other business cards is below. And that's the best price and best quality business cards that I've found for the price through Vistaprint. And we have a little discount coupon code, which we do make a little money on. But truthfully, this is where I get all of these business cards printed out. Uh, the last batch of 250 with the discounts uh, with full color back um, message on the back. It was like 25 bucks, okay, to get it to me for 250 cards. You cannot beat that at all. These ones are a little more expensive, but what you do with these is you can put these in mailers. You see, you see this this right here? If you send a mailer with, with a window, a window uh, for the address deal, and this is poking through the window like, like this. Let's say that's poking down through the window. People are going to see this, and they're going to open your mailer. Or if you leave this on a counter at a restaurant, um, or if you leave this... Uh, anywhere, you know, you leave this at the grocery store somewhere. People are going to pick this up, thing, this up, and people are going to read this thing. And on this, you can see at the top it says, we buy houses. And then it has a big old message. It basically says what type, types of houses we buy. Um, it says, we buy houses from people in situations just like yours in any condition, area, or price range. We can pay all cash with no contingencies, uh, blah, blah, blah. We are real estate investors that that uh, want to buy five to ten houses per month gives the contact information for the guy and and the website and frankly i've i don't use these for my real estate business i use these for my other businesses but i got one recently that this guy that's this guy's right here he is using it to buy houses and i don't know why i didn't put that together in my head it's just the simplest thing in the world but the hundred dollar business cards are an awesome awesome card Awesome, awesome tip to get a big time um, attention from people. Get these read and uh, use the URL to check it out. I think they're about 100 and, 150 bucks for a thousand of them or something like that. So they're not cheap, they're not expensive. And then these cards right here with the double printing, you can use our URL below. I go to Vistaprint. Or you can get a, a free batch of business cards also that I think uh, it, you have to pay like five bucks in shipping. They're not quite as sharp as these. But these ones, if you pay a little extra, like, like I said, 15, 20, 30 bucks, you can get some really quality cards. You can ha you can create them online. You can save them online and have them uh, sent to you whenever you're ready. And you'll save a lot of money rather than going down to Staples or Office Max or having them at, at your local print shop, most, most likely. So anyway, that's the business card tip. Use both sides of the business card. Have your call to action on the back, which drives people to a free report based on if you're looking for buyers, sellers, or private money. Uh, right here you can see on this one it just says uh, free report, um, five ways to increase your, you know, it has a call to action, a headline, and it says what they need to do. It says head to the URL below to download your free in-depth report that will walk you through blah, blah, blah. So there you go, guys. Uh, have fun. If you have any other questions, send them through to support at privatemoneyblueprint.com, and Patrick and I will continue answering your questions. Uh, continue helping you grow your real estate business and get more private money and keep giving you little tips like this right here. This cheap little thing is going to make you a crap load of money if you use it. So go out there, get it, and uh, have fun. Thanks.